Huh? Plan now is all about freelance driving now. I don't know where we go, we just drive, you know. Anywhere we stop, we stop. Right? Yeah. Yes, yeah, something you must live like that, you know. Yeah, we are jumping into uh, the rental right? car now. Anywhere you see nice. Yes. Yeah. Anywhere but you see nice, you just stop. But Jackie, what's the <laughs> right. what was the original plan? The original plan was say was trying to freelance and go Blue Mountain and make some coffee. What uh, Sebastian maybe yeah. want coffee. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so we take him straight to the Rasta. I know the Rasta guy, you know. Yeah man. So he will roast and you see everything what's going on there. You know? Yeah man, nice. And, and then you put it in the package, you know. That's and I you want. have choice. You can choose grain. And then you bring it back and then you dust it yourself. Anything you want. Yeah, man, because Sebastian, right here. It's a big coffee nerd. <laughs> is a real, real coffee junkie. Yes, right? that's yeah, right. I can call one lady in and tell him to so come up the Blue Mountain. You know, but I don't know if you want to go there. You know? mm. I just leave it freelance, you know? Leave it freelance for I now. Think. Okay. All right. It's better. Let's roll. Yo. We just arrived at this real, real beautiful stop. Yes, super nice. And now we're moving on to Blue Mountain, so we stop at the swinging bridge. You know? Yeah, man, That's at the swinging bridge. the swinging bridge. You know? Right here. But to be honest, I always nervous to walk on this thing. You know? Really? Yes, because it starts to go like this. You know? What do you say, Chucky? You're scared of crossing the bridge? I'm scared, but I will try to go on this swinging bridge. From when I was a little kid, I never liked these things. You know? And really? When you, when you reach in the middle, it starts to go like this. I'm afraid it bursts down, but I'm going to try go on it now and see how it works. Yes, it's a little bit scary. On the freelance bridge. Nice, on the freelance swimming bridge, you know, up in Charlestown. And I know when people see it, to be honest, they're going to want me to take them here because they like something like this, I know. And this is the same area you find the native people who they think they call themselves the Maroon, you know. It's just further a little bit down. We pass it on our way. So when you come to the swinging bridge, if anything, we can go in back, we can stop at the Maroon and then they can tell you the history of what going on in Jamaica when the Maroon take over from, with the English. But to be honest, I'm an honest person. I'm not so interested in Maroon, you know, to be honest, you know, because I think the Maroon and the English have such a close tie, you know, and that's why they defeat most of the black people, and then the Maroon pay no tax, and me have to pay tax. I think it's so unfair, so unfair, you know, but we will see how it end up at the end of the day. I'm going to go over by the shop and get the water. We need to spend something with the people then, you understand? We just arrived in the Blue Mountains and check out this view, real mad. Wow. So nice. Right? Real nice. Super nice here. It's the Blue Mountain, see it? It's a bicycle tour, you know? So when you come, they organize the tour. Bicycle tour. Yeah. And see, it? they roast in coffee now, not sure? Yes. We can just go up there and look too, right? Yeah, man, no problem. Yeah, man, supposed to. Because last time I come, I went right here. No, but no, you guys in Jamaica. Even the Knoxford <laughs> comes up here. Yes, because Knoxford is a part of the tourism business, you know. And the guy who owned Knoxford, last week I really learned, say, this guy is so powerful, he owns so much hotel. The cruise ship that's come to Port Antonio last week is this guy organized a cruise ship with the tour, you know. 
That's how me know so the not so the express bus is, is this guy who it. So he just make the two big bus. Like we run in the morning from Port Antony to Kingston or Ochi or anywhere. He have two just to take the passenger from the cruise ship, you know. And move them around Port Antony and all about, you know. So this guy really super rich, you know. From the not so the express. He bring in his own people. And he owns so much hotel. Right? The guy who owns not so yeah, express. Yeah. What's his name again? I don't remember him name. Yeah. But watch out if that we do what have other clients here. That's no disrespect. Yeah man, no, you know, I don't do anything but we have to know what communicate. Yeah, we understand. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah. Right on the way to Blue Mountain. So yeah. we are so close to the Rasta them down there. And these Rasta down there, these are some original people can show you about roast coffee and they've produced coffee for years, on top of years. And you go from one generation to the next generation because the father died and them now take over the business, you know. Okay. But this is like a freelance coffee on the roadside, you know. So you can see them over here. They're so beautiful. Look. Look. You can pick coffee and suck, you know. Suck it? Yeah. You just eat them like that? Yeah. Nice, try. Tea bean, eh? Oh yeah, that's the bean that is inside of it. Yeah, but you can pick some. If you man say I pick, you see? Which one are good to eat, the red ones? Red? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The red one are perfect. Yeah. But you have to wash them, you know? Take off the skin. And then wash them and patch them and pound them with the mud. It's a big farm. Good. How does it taste like? Sweet. <laughs> Sweet? Mm -hmm. Good. Hmm? Yeah, man, nice. Yes. That's okay. Good. Good coffee. Take a little walk in the farm. Let's go for a little walk in with Chuck here. In the Blue Mountain. On the original coffee farm. Yes, super nice. Look over here. Oh, look at this, guys. Oh, there's a lot of coffee on them. Blue Mountain coffee. So good. Sweet. And the view is also really nice there mm. in the background. All these mountains. Yes. You can look over the mountain and see the type of temperature up here in the Blue Mountain. Getting cooler and cooler. Up here, nice to live, you know? Yeah, man. Yes, because the temperature up here is not like down all in Hope Bay and Buff Bay in this place where you have 30, 34, 35. Up here, it goes straight back to 20, 22, 19. Especially in the night, it gets super cold. Gone way back to 18. And tear fog. When you look over the mountain, you see nothing. Only thing, white. Come yeah, on. Yes. So you can just spin the camera around and show them the beautiful coffee, freelance coffee farm here in the Blue Mountain. Yeah? But I like this one, it's so special. This one I've had so much. Yeah, man, this one is the <coughs> nicest one out of yes. all of them. So much that the limb they fall right down. Look. Everything just bend down because of the weight of the coffee, bring down everything, you know. And it's it's a big employment, you know. Cause a lot of people come to the Blue Mountain just to pick coffee. They drive the truck, go to Hope Bay, Buff Bay, and pick up people and bring them to the mountain. And they pick coffee and they earn a living from it, you know. But to be honest, I don't know how much they pay them, but I know it by the box. You have to fill a box. It's same like when you go to farm work in Canada and all this place. It's the same thing, you know. So people earn money from it. A lot of money too. And oh. they get all bonus. Like in a year, project money. They get all that too, you know. So it's super nice. Need coffee. Coffee nice with coconut milk, you know? True. Yes, not box milk. Coconut milk, original coconut milk. With coffee and baked dumpling. And run down, you know? With saltfish. So super nice, you know? In the morning.
I like coffee. I grew up around coffee, just like how I grew up around chocolate tea. Because my grandmother used to make a lot of coffee, tea, in the morning. I used to drink and go to school in the morning. Yeah. Yes, because sometimes you don't have chocolate. So you have a coffee tree just like this, right beside the kitchen in Cano Road, up by the top house. So we used to just wake up and pick coffee and store coffee until the weekend when we're not going to school. We prepare coffee, strip them, wash them, and put them in the sun. A lot of people love Blue Mountain coffee and they spend a lot of money for Blue Mountain coffee. Just like we stopped by the bicycle shop, one cup of coffee is for 400 Jamaican dollar. Yeah, That's what the guy tells you. Expensive, but to be honest, some people don't care because they just book their package and come here and everything and done to them. Because it already paid for from the hotel. So yeah. the hotel just bring them around in the Nutsville Express bus. Where are we heading now? We're heading down the hill and we're going to stop at the Rasta friend them down here. They do coffee too. So let's check them out. I know this guy good too. Yes, the original. That sounds nice. Yeah man, original guy then. So this is my original Rasta friend, you know. Yeah. Know these guys for years, you know. Come on. Yes, man. Respect my friends. Blessed. Yes. So, meantime, your video, I mean, I should show you a little bit of demonstration of the call for what to go through, you know. Come on. That's what you live on, you know. Come so on. this is the original place, you know. So I get it. Share my I'm box, you still, you know. These are the different stages what you go through, you know. Original. Harvest from the tree. Two beans from it. Two beans. So the beans here are very slippery. So wash it, put in some to dry it when it's dry. It comes down like a peanut. What I use the mortar and the pestle to do that. To pound, it takes all this out and it becomes like this. Then afterward, I put it back in my open wood fire right and sit there. And like 45 minutes up to now, a proper roasting. You know? Original and that's that's how it ends up at the end. Yes, I look really and nice. You can make a powder from it, you know. And you grind the beans up to make powder, a real coffee, coffee you know. Yeah. Mm. Nice place yeah, you have here. Rastafari loves this place. Bring me back to my memory as a little child growing up with my grandmother. Mm. It was the same way, same lifestyle, same culture with two pieces of high end. A poor piece of high and gum cross like that, and that's where my grandmother cooking dinner, the whole with dinner, tea, everything. So this brings me back way, way back from a childhood. So sometimes it's good to go outside, you know, you get back the inspiration, you know, and the feelings come back. Yeah, man. Sure. Yeah. Man. So this is the original restaurant, Blue Mountain Cafe. It's supposed to be nice. Back to the roots. Yes. A scheisse. My is so tough. Mm. <laughs> nice cat too. Yeah, man. Resume one of my cat at home. He's a nice freelance cat from the coffee shop. Cowboy coffee. Cowboy coffee? Uh -huh. That's how you call it in Jamaica? Uh -huh. Fresh Blue Mountain Coffee. Yeah. Nice. It, it, this night hat man is good. Yeah? Yeah, mm -hmm. good. The right temperature. Yeah, nice. Respect. Yes, massive. Yeah man, good. Yeah, well, 
Oh, so real nice. We are taking one back for the yard as well to have some nice blue mountain coffee in the morning. Good coffee. No. Original blue mountain coffee. So when you guys come, I always bring them here, you know? Bring them to my restaurant, you know? Original, you know? Make the drink real. No chemical, no pesticides, straight original way of growing coffee. Mm -hmm. So that's when you drink this coffee. You feel like you drink coffee. Right, restaurant? So that's uh, Big up all my people, you know? Mm -hmm. All Bless over the world. Worldwide international. Best coffee. Yeah, man. Really Best nice. coffee you can think. 100% to grounded coffee. Yeah, freshly roast, freshly grounded, you know. Yeah, man. We'll drink one tomorrow morning. Alright, bless it. Thank you. Yes. One, two, three, four, five packs. Yes, man. 50 US for one kilo. So cheap, man. And now this guy is roasting the coffee over here. Straight over the fire. How long does it take? About five minutes. Forty-five minutes. Yeah. Oh. Slow fire. And over here, the rest of mine start to prepare it and start to shell it, you know. Yeah. And this is after we clean out. This is the green beans. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ready to roast. You know the English name? Fresh smelling. You know the English. But it don't smell like coffee until you roast it. Mm -hmm. Like you know it. Yeah, yes, sir. And we got our plantation on the f down the. Yeah. It's got one down 20 meters down on the inside. Yes, sir. They are running nice. I was saying after he do this, he's gonna bring it over here and put it here in the mouth. In the mouth. Yes. And pound it. Pound it, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then he pound it, you know? Yeah. Similar like chocolate. It's the same matter you use and pound chocolate. Right? Yeah. Original way. Yeah. Coffee plant all over the place, and it seems like Rastaman making a nice place over there. Yeah? So, yeah. guys, we're in the Blue Mountain right now. So, if you look across, you can see the second highest mountain over there. Yeah, man. As we go across in the mountain like this. So, my friends, if you look, this is one of the coffee trees typically where we harvest the beans from. It's an unwork, all done by hand, you know. So, by harvest, you have to do this in the tree. To get the beans off. Yeah. So it's all picked one by one, you know. Yeah, man. All done by hand, one by one, you have to get those beans, you know. So it's freshly red beans, always all the time, you know. So normally we'd make a sock around us, sim something similar like this, to catch the beans. Meantime, using our two hands, you know. This job is mostly like a woman job too. Mm -hmm. Women to harvest the beans and the men they carry the beans out from the farm. Yeah. It's good. Mm -hmm. So this tree got a lot of red berries on it. A lot of ripe of coffee. So it, it's totally unwork. Sometimes your hands a little bit tired up there, but you still have to move on, you know. Yeah. So typically, if you look at the tree right now, we got fresh, fresh coming again, you know. This is small, fresh coming again, you know. These are small ones coming again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. New crops coming again, you know. It's twice a year, every six months. Nice. Yeah, every six months we harvest coffee. Yeah. So that's the coffee he just collected yes, from the tree. Pick. So when you fresh pick it like this, you can eat it too. It's sweet. Mm. Mm. Sweet, man. Mm. 
The birds and the rat, they like to eat the skins because it's very sweet, you know. Mm -hmm. When they eat the beans, they pull you up back on the ground like that. So it becomes another plant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the tour. Nice puppy. Anywhere we go, we love animals, especially dogs. I don't pass dogs nowhere. I like to share my time and my love with dogs. You, you know that. Come on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Respect, Bless guys. Respect. Respect my friend from Germany, you know? All is good, you know? All is good, all is good. All is good. All is good. All right. Yeah. yeah. One love. Give, give, the, sin, give yeah. the man a last look here. Yeah. Yeah. See? It gets in browner and browner and browner and browner. You see? No one. So you have to keep on. Steer it up. Bob Marley. Steer it up. Steer it up. That's what Bob Marley talk about. Sorry. Steer it up. Okay. Yeah, what we say, stir it up. Steer up. Yeah, no fridge, no stove, no television, no pipe. You have to go around for water. Exactly, yeah. Original. So this is a really good experience here right now. Bring back the memory. Oh. It seems like the rest of people would say they would go to Kingston. <laughs> it's, the guy told me over here, say it's the same distance we come from Buff Bay. So we can go this way, it's the same distance. Eh? So it leave to you. You is the driver, you know? So we leave the decision to you, right? Yes. Yeah, yes. I can decide. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. Maybe we should go to Kingston, yeah. check out Kingston downtown. Yes, it's a Sunday. So everything quiet, you know? Okay. Can't even go to the waterfront downtown Kingston. The waterfront downtown Kingston, where you sit and then you're looking over the airport. Yes. Because today is Sunday. It's not so busy, busy, busy and crowded, you know? Less traffic, less people, right? Yeah, man. So let's check it out. Yeah. Right, Lisa. You're shooting a movie. Yeah. You know that too. Simon, what do you yeah. think? Yeah, yeah man. It, it will relax. Check how far it is from here. One hour and 20 minutes. Yeah. Really? Really? Google Maps says that. You want to go? Yeah, no problem. We have time. <laughs> we have no one wait. We have no one waiting for me at home. I can do what I want. Yeah, sit here really quick. Ride. It looks nice. Sit down there so check it. Yeah. It looks super nice over here. Yeah, well. yeah. So so the decision right now is to go to Kingston. Yeah. Okay. How far Dub Club is from here? You know Dub Club? Yeah? Yeah. So maybe we can pass you if you want. Yeah? Dub Club. Yeah. It's the same direction we're in, right? Mm. Yeah, you know. And this way. But if you don't want, you don't want. Yeah? Cause to be honest, I don't like Dub Club so much. Oh. I, I don't prefer to go I prefer to go Ray Ray. Yeah. We're Ray Ray people, you know? Ray -ray people. <laughs> yeah. Very people. See, I know I think of you, though. <laughs> <laughs>